What's going on, guys? It's me, JV, coming to you live this afternoon on this last day of November. It's uh, Thursday, November 30th, 2022. I just wanted to make a brief video about what happened uh, with KMBR once again. KMBR going through some very, very tumultuous times. The announcement was made by the program director. I don't know who the program director is out there. It used to be um, Lee Hammer. But then Lee Hammer was pushed to uh, KGO, and then KGO went off the air in October of last year. If you remember, they were booted, and they became a uh, sports uh, talk radio station, and the ratings are absolutely atrocious. They are scratching the surface at 0 0.3, but I digress. Um, but the um, anyway, the current uh, program director came out and said that uh, both um, FP Santangelo, who was the sports phone 68, or sports phone 680 uh, radio host from 6 to 10, from the 6 p.m. to the 10 p.m. Uh, night slot was fired. He was let go as of yesterday due to the fact that uh, Cumulus uh, Company, which is the parent company of KMBR, among other stations, is going through a bankruptcy. As I've been uh, indicating, uh, saying really for the last, I want to say for the last two years, uh, Cumulus is uh, absolutely bankrupt. They are going broke and they are slashing budgets across their uh, multiple radio stations in this country. Mainly, you know why that you know why that is? Because they continue to broadcast right wing hate radio up and down the uh, United States. That's all they focus on: politics, right wing radio politics, fake garbage, right wing politics, as well as sports. And you're seeing the after uh, the aftermath. They are going broke, and uh, KMBR continues to be a casualty. Not only that they uh, fired uh, JP Santangelo, who was their evening host, but they also got rid of the uh, morning co-host uh, Paul McCaffrey, who was part of the Murph and Mac show for about 15 years, I, I believe. They were um, on forever. They, I, I believe they replaced uh, Gary Radnich and um, Rod Brooks, who were the morning shows from 5 to 9 a.m. If you remember back in the 2000s, uh, Gary Radnich had uh, his uh, time slot there and uh, Rod Brooks was like his sidekick. And then, Rod, and then uh, Gary Radnich was moved from 9 a.m. to noon, Monday through Friday. And that's when uh, Murphy and McCaffrey came in and took their, their spot. So KMBR continues to fire all of their hosts. As I mentioned in a video that I did back in February of 2022, when KMBR uh, fired both, both um, uh, Rod Brooks and Larry Kruger, I said to you back then that when it's all said and done, you're probably gonna have only two hosts in that station, Tom Tolbert and uh, Greg Papa, and everybody else is gonna get fired. Everybody else is gonna get the boot because uh, uh, Cumulus is just going bankrupt. They're hemorrhaging uh, profits up and down their multiple radio stations. And uh, it's amazing what's, what's happening to KMBR. KMBR used to be, for many decades, one of the top rated uh, radio stations in the, in the uh, Bay Area. They were in the top five every, every single season, especially when the Giants were doing good and uh, they were competing for championships. Uh, KMBR would... Uh, actually topped the uh, Albatron uh, rating charts um, during the uh, postseason run of September and October, if you remember, about 10, uh, 12 years ago when the Giants were really good. But now the, even the Giants are not bringing in the listenership that uh, KMBR was accustomed to receiving. Um, I uh, actually came across a... Uh, uh, a report from SF Gate on the internet, and I was reading the article. And uh, apparently, in the last year, uh, 9570 uh, game, which is the uh, competition of KMBR, was beating them in the ratings from say, uh, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, uh, KMBR, as of uh, Thursday, as of yesterday, is going to have a uh, nationally uh, syndicated uh, show from 6 p.m. all the way to 5 a.m. the following day, which is, I believe, CBS Sports Radio. Um, I don't follow sports anymore. I don't listen to sports talk radio. It's boring. It sucks. Uh, they talk about the same vanilla uh, topics. And uh, 
I don't root for any teams in the Bay Area now that the A's are leaving uh, to Las Vegas. That was the only team that I cared about here in the Bay Area. So because I don't care about any team and I don't support any team here, I don't listen to sports talk radio um, here in the Bay Area. But I do follow their, um, I do follow these articles. And, uh, you know, I, I used to listen to KMBR back in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, when, uh, when they had their golden years, when they had Ra Ralph Barbieri and they had Tom Tolbert and they had Gary Radnich and um, uh, Bob Fitzgerald at night. I used to listen to KMBR because that's all that uh, they had here on the, in the Bay Area. There was no competition. They basically monopolized that format. And I was stuck listening to that uh, garbage, uh, basically talking about the Giants and the 49ers at nauseum. But um, now that 95.7 has come into the uh, fold for the last 11 years, it's finally catching up to KMBR and they're seeing their sa sad reality that uh, they're no longer going to be they're not no longer going to be really relevant here in the bay area but um anyway i just wanted to um discuss the firing of both fp santangelo from their nightly show as well as uh paul mccaffrey who was uh, part of the uh, murph and mac show in the mornings um i don't know if murphy will be next he probably will uh but um, yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's a it's a situation that you know you've been uh, seeing coming really for the last couple of years. It's been festering now for multiple multiple months. And if you look at my library here on YouTube, you will see that video that I did on uh, the firing of uh, Kruger and uh, and Rod Brooks. And I said that uh, the radio industry, the terrestrial radio industry, is falling apart. It's going bankrupt, and uh, very soon. Uh, God knows how the radio industry is going to look five to ten years from now. But um, anyway, just wanted to give my two cents regarding KMBR's uh, continued destruction and continued decline. And uh, it couldn't have happened to a better radio station. Thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.